across the chin under the lip, all the way across to the neck on the other side. And uh, this is one of the obvious things uh, that leads people to believe that Oswald's face was pasted on somebody else's body. It was a shocking allegation that Oswald's backyard photographs were the result of darkroom hocus pocus, an elaborate conspiracy, almost impossible to believe. But just this week, the mystery took on yet another dimension with our discovery of the silhouette mat in the Dallas police archives. Incredibly, the dimensions of that mat exactly match with a third photograph of Oswald, found in 1977. And now, more than ever, raised the question, could all of the photographs have been faked? This photograph, which we call Oswald's ghost, is important because it represents darkroom manipulation of the backyard photographs. For the first time, there's actual evidence that the Dallas Police Department, and possibly by the implication of statements made by policemen, the Secret Service, were involved in manipulation of the backyard photographs of Lee Harvey Oswald. Why was it done? I think one of the main questions that, that all of us in the country are asking, why would they do this? Uh, one of the reasons is because this was one of the main links that linked Oswald with this particular rifle. Nobody requested this. I just did this on my own. It's uh, just simple to do. That's as close to an official explanation as we could get. Former Dallas police detective Bobby Brown says he made the silhouette picture of Lee Harvey Oswald the day after the assassination. Brown, now retired and living in Oklahoma, says under orders from the Secret Service, he took a number of photographs of Oswald's backyard and in one snapshot even struck the same pose as Oswald. But Brown claims the reason he made the silhouette was only to see if all photos taken of Oswald were shot in the same location. The reason I made the ghost of Oswald was to compare the backgrounds against uh, the photographs uh, that was brought to us of Oswald holding a rifle. The ghost of Oswald was the only picture I ever mattered before or after. But a firestorm of controversy has already begun to rage, with critics insisting a photo mat of Oswald serves only one purpose. The reason that someone would mat Lee Harvey Oswald in this background is to put him in a house, put this pose with a rifle, the communist propaganda, uh, the communist paper, the pistol, to put all these elements that make him into the lone nut killer. I think it could be possibly a start of framing Oswald as well as a cover-up. Meanwhile, as we search for the truth, the ghost of Lee Harvey Oswald still haunts us all. If there is any lesson to be learned from the opening of the Dallas police files, the time has come to do the same in Washington as well. That rifle. That's as fast as you people have been given, but I emphatically deny these charges. Dallas police aren't the only ones shedding new light on the assassination. Still ahead on our special investigation, a Kennedy insider gives us an unprecedented look at another crucial piece of film. While seeing is believing, sometimes hearing makes you a believer. You have to watch this pretty quick because this is only over a six second period. You'll hear a shot, a shot, a quick shot on the third. Uh, you won't see anything, but the fourth shot is a shot that hits the president in the head, and you see the president's head explode. Uh, you see this assassination of John Kennedy, and you hear it as well. The difference between the silent movie and the sound version of the Zapruder film goes beyond a dramatic enhancement. 